If you guys are looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super great. They got fast 24-7 support. Make sure to check them out, and make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys, and today we got the 50 reveal. We got some next-gen stuff, and we got some Thanksgiving promo Autumn Blast stuff as well. Super exciting. Got a lot of stuff to go over here, of course. Gonna be rocking with the screenshots as per usual. I mean, there's no in-game content, of course, until about 2 o'clock. For the 50s, so you guys kind of know the deal with that. But guys, so today's Poodle Squad shout out. Before we get into the video, we do have a Jack Lemley. Shout out to Jack Lemley for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thanks so much for showing support in each and every video, guys. As per usual, all you gotta do is be shouted out, like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and of course, turn on the noti bell. Once you do all those things, you're entered for a chance to be shouted out. So keep it up. Now, guys, going into this, as far as what we got. So before we get into the players, I do want to go over the next gen stuff. So as far as next gen goes, it's nothing massive, but they did announce that next week we'll be receiving next gen news. So at least we'll know, right? Because with EA's typical thing this year, like even Madden 21 news, like we didn't get it for until like the last few days before it came out. So I'm happy that we're getting it. If it's next week, let's assume like some day between the 16th to 20th, that does give us about like two weeks ish, give or take two to three weeks, depending between now and the release date. So we get some time to repair and just understand, get to know if it's going to be a full game, like a full brand new game. Over it's like 2K, right? Like Ultimate Team stays the same, but they revamp franchise and some other stuff. Do they completely revamp Ultimate Team? You could, but you transfer your cards over. Like either way, all your, guys, don't worry. Like for all you guys concerned, your VC and all, not your VC, sorry, your coins and all your players are going to be safe no matter what. But it could be a different game, so we have to wait and see. Could it just be graphics and animations? I'm excited, but that's going to be next week. So stay tuned for the next gen news. You know, I'll be covering that when the time does come. Next, guys, for Autumn Blaster, I do want to get to that screenshot real quick here. If you guys can see the Autumn Blast screenshot, as you see here. It says events ending soon, upcoming events, November 16th, which is Monday, to November 30th with Auto Blast. I'm really excited about that, guys, because that does mean that we're going to have half a month almost of most uh, Autumn Blast. Now, remember, it is a bit earlier probably because it does also include Black Friday Blitz and stuff. So it's not like they're making it longer than Christmas, like, you know, uh, you know not Christmas, uh, you know, uh, Most Feared and all the other stuff. But in general, November 16th is great because when in years past, we used to get promos as early as like, the 6th or the 12th, they get started seasonal promo. So, I mean, the 16th is more along the lines of what we're dealing with. And they've been recently starting around close to, like, the 20th and stuff. So, I'm happy that we're going to be getting it, like, about the 16th. That does give us approximately two and a half weeks to enjoy. So, that's half a month. That's perfect. That gives us half the first half of the month to kind of relax off the last promo, build up the team, grind a bit, and then go back right into it. So, Autumn Blast coming Monday. So, definitely stay tuned for that. That's great. I mean, a nice Monday promo gives us a... It's nice to have a promo during the week. I hate when they drop them on Fridays. I feel like Fridays is always so tough, especially if you're, like, you know, if you're an adult... You know, your weekend could be some family time if you're, you know, if you're a kid, the weekend could be that time where you go out with your friends, but the week's always that you come home from work, come home from school, after you feed the kids or you, you feed yourself, depending on your age, you go ahead and just, you just rock the promo a little bit. I feel like that's a great time for it. Something to give you some, something fun to look forward to after work or school during the weekdays when the weekend is already going to be fun regardless. So I like that, but that's enough for Autumn Blast guys. Autumn Blast will be Monday. Uh, I'll make probably some player predictions probably tomorrow. Now I'll probably base it off last year because of course it's tough to really just guess on what it's going to be. I'm just going to go based on last year, but I will do predictions. But now let's get to the 50 players. So first, guys, we got Champ Bailey, 93rd overall cornerback for the Denver Broncos. I love when we get Champ Bailey cards. 91 speed, 91 excel, 90 agility, 90 jumping, 89 play rack, 93 man, 87 zone, 89 press. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'd be lying to you if I told you that Champ Bailey didn't look slightly underwhelming. I mean, again, the, the beauty of Champ Bailey, you got to look beyond the card, right? So Champ Bailey can have the back of the card looking like Deion Sanders. He's going to be super great with the ball in his hands, super ch could change the direction, good agility. Now, the only thing's going to be is that he honestly does, I was hoping Champ would have had a 93 speed powered up versus 92, as well as I feel like his, his zone and press is a bit lower than I thought it would be. On the bright side, though, guys, powered up and chemmed up, he will have like a 99 man, just about 99, 98 man coverage. He will have like a 94, 95 press, and like a 92, 91, 93 zone, depending. So he's going to have all the thresholds, of course. So there's no worry there. But he's only going to have a 92 speed. Like, I thought I wanted him to take the next jump, right? Like, Deion Sanders is 92, 93. You know, DRC 92, 93. I want a chance to be like 93, 94. You know, that next step. But again, he's going to be great. I mean, Champ Bailey with Dion, And it's about the, you know, sometimes players just play better than others. Like, you know, one guy could have better stats. But Champ just is that guy, you know, kind of like Dion. So I definitely look, look into Champ. I think he could be a great card to actually still play with. I just... I don't know, it's tough. Champ, is Champ's going to play insane, probably. The issue is just going to be simply is that I feel like they kind of they kind of under, like, they watered down his stats a little bit. And he's 93 overall, you know, and he's part of the first team, so I feel like he should have been better. But, again, the back of the card's probably going to be crazy. But, again, we are, in a, we are in a man press meta, so you're going to be getting the maxed man. 
and the press. So, I mean, either way, you're going to fit the meta. So, I mean, he's still, he's still pretty insane. He's still pretty insane. Just feel like his zone and a few other things. I feel like his speed. Like, it shouldn't have been 91. It should have been, like, 92s across the board. But either way, still great. Next, we got Ed Reed. The zone hawk. And when it comes to Mad, oh, I mean, I gave him a hit power, too. This Ed Reed's going to be nasty. 91 speed, 91 excel, 93 tackle, 92 play rec, 86 pursuit, 84 man, and 93 zone. Now, guys, if you were looking for a replacement for Devin McCourty, Ed Reed's going to be your guy. Powered up in Canada, he will get 99 zone, which is exactly what you were looking for in McCourty. He'll have 90 man, which again follows up with McCourty, but he does get the zone, which is crazy, and hit power 88. So he's going to be a McCourty that can actually hit. So now here's the thing. Fumbles are weird this year, but I feel like hit power plays a big part in tackling bigger backs. So like, again, I know if, if you're smart with Devin McCourty, you go up to a bigger back or a bigger receiver and you just press A and you probably slow him down. That's the issue with guys like McCourty and Micah Hyde is that you will you will hit them. They'll probably truck you over. They may bounce off you. And if you hit stick them, they're uh, guys. If you try to hit stick with McCourty, a lot of the times like players just bounce off. Now Ed Reed again, 87 hit power, and with the way fumbling is this year, you may not force a fumble. You don't always account for the laying out factors that like people have a tendency to always try to force a fumble or always try to hit stick. It's just a Madden bad habit. Regardless of whether or not you should probably let a CPU make the tackle or anything, or just let a press safe conservative tackle. But with the having an 87 hit power, you're going to be able to lay people out. Now again, it may not be a fumble. But it will it will successfully end the play and a lot of the time stop yard gains. But with my with Devin McCourty a, attempted truck and like if you if you read the whole, if you read the gap right right through it and you, you go right through it you blitz through it and you hit you hit stick to follow running back in the back for like Barkley or Bo they may just bounce off and again it could it could lead to something like you know how Madden is like that could lead to an 80 yard touchdown that could lead to a first down that could be a fourth and one so at least with Ed Reed you're gonna be able to lay the boom a little bit more and of course guys overall it's just gonna be a great safety you know how Edry plays Edry just plays nasty and then of course he has great after the catch skills too which a lot of safeties don't have like he's not just like your typical north south he can go north south east west juke he's super agile which if you get a team like ed reed champ bailey Deion sanders and you know you get that kind of crew like your defense is just so versatile and how athletic it is and then finally got brian finner and now he's a bust he's a bust primarily because he has 88 speed now he's like six foot five i believe six foot six ish but he has 88 speed just horrible. You you can't use that. You cannot use that in Madden right now. Now, again, if you want to use him as a primary red zone guy, that's fine. But you guys, if you guys play Mutt, you know, primary red zone guys isn't really a thing, right? So if you play franchise or you play simulation exhibition, yes, Brian Finner will be a stud because when you get to the red zone, you could quite literally fade him or streak him and he will get animations that no one else gets. Like it, you know, like six foot five players in simulation actually get different animations than lower guys. But in Ultimate Team, the way they have it is kind of like ratings matter less. You know, height and stuff matters less. It always seems to just come down to speed, reads, and meta, right? And that's the difference. That's what separates Mutt's from the other game modes. Because Mutt, like I said, is going to be like, you can throw up a jump ball to Brian Finner in 10 times. And if they just press X or anything, it's going to go, it goes into their hands and it pops out, right? But in like Franchise, you throw it up to him, he will get an aggressive catch animation you've never seen before. It's very different. Must have really been a jump ball. Uh, well, recently hasn't been a jump ball game. It used to be back in the day. But as of recently, Brian Finner and Campy Counter, you're better off just getting a guy like waiting for a Randy or just getting, you know, T Terry McLaurin at half his height will play very, very well. You know what I mean? Like, that's just how this game's always been. He does get all the route running thresholds. And he does get all the catching thresholds. So, I mean, don't discount him entirely. I mean, you can power him up and chem him up. But 89 speed, you really just can't, you just can't count on it. You, you just can't, right? Now, I think they should give him a 90 speed, just like Carmichael. Now, that's an agreed upon thing. I think that would have been fair. A 90 speed, if you can get him up to a 91, you know, 92, you're, you're looking at a good a good receiver, but 88 speed, you can't even use 80. Anything in the 80 speeds these days, aren't even, even ends, like ends below 88 speed at this point or outside linebackers are like, oh, not good enough. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you aren't to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn the noti bell boys, and join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up. Expect a second video today, and if you want a chance, we shout it out. Uh, comment down below Poodle Squad, like the video, turn on the noti bell. And guys, of course, if you guys need coins, head over to my reserve. Coins are discounted, and they're probably more discounted for Thanksgiving as we keep going into it. So keep checking uh, consistently. Use code Poodle for 15% off. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Peace.